The popular outdoor recreation area at Lake Night Horse will open for daily operations on May 10th, with motorized recreation beginning May 15th. Part of the overflow parking lot at the Durango La Plata Airport will be closed from May 1st through June 15th for paving work to expand parking spots as part of overall airport improvements. Applications for the 2024 e-bike rebate program are now open in an open casting call for Kevin Costner's latest film. You're watching the local news roundup brought to you by Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers and Tafoya Barrett and Associates. I'm Sadie Smith. Want to see yourself on the big screen? A casting call has gone out for the Kevin Costner film, Horizon. Filming will take place in Durango on Wednesday, May 15th. Think circa 1900 looks. No modern hairstyles, piercings, visible tattoos, or bleached hair. Visit Old Colorado Vinted at 1020 Main Ave for more information and instructions. The call is open to families and individuals. Lake Night Horse will be open for daily operations starting May 10th, with motorized recreation beginning May 15th. The lake will be open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day with wakeless hours Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from open until 10 a.m. Starting June 1st, hours will be 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and the Guarded Swim Beach and Wibbit Aqua Park will be open as well. Like last summer, the Wibbit Aqua Park will have four daily sessions, each one hour and 45 minutes long. Sessions cost $5 and will have a maximum of 60 participants per session. New this year, all paddle craft must be equipped with enough personal flotation devices for everyone on board, as well as a sound signaling device like a whistle. The craft must be labeled with the owner's name, phone number, and address. Additionally, construction work is underway on the entrance to Lake Night Horse, with improvements to the entryway and to the installation of a new boat contamination station. Be prepared for an increased wait times for entry. The Durango La Plata County Airport will close part of its overflow lot from May 1st through June 15th. The paving work will add 276 new paved parking spaces. For travelers out of Durango, La Plata County Airport, be aware that parking lots will hit maximum capacity a lot quicker. So plan an extra 10 to 15 minutes for your trip to leave room to find a parking space. Carpooling and organizing pickups and drop-offs are also highly encouraged during repaving work. The City of Durango is accepting applications for the 2024 e-bike rebate program. Income qualified residents, students, and members of Durango's workforce can apply for rebates from $500 to $1,500 for the purchase of a new e-bike and accessories. There's an additional $150 bonus for purchasing from a local shop. Applications are due May 17th and recipients will be selected by a lottery with all vouchers sent out by the end of May. The e-bike rebate program is funded by a $100,000 grant from the Colorado Energy Office and a $50,000 match from the Lodgers Tax Discretionary Fund. Applications are available online and paper applications are available at City Hall and the Durango Public Library. Learn more about these and other stories online at durangolocal.news. Thank you for watching this edition of the Local News Roundup. I'm Sadie Smith.